Doctor, my 15-year-old has been diagnosed with depression, and her doctor has prescribed an antidepressant. I've heard that antidepressants can increase suicidal thoughts in teenagers. Is this true, and do I need to be concerned? That's a good question to ask and a valid concern. You may ask how a medication meant to treat depression can cause suicidal thoughts when this is supposed to be what the medication treats. I'm Dr. Charles D. Batista, a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences and the director of the Depression Research Clinic at Stanford University. I'm here to unpack this paradox. I'll take you through the evidence related to this phenomena and describe what can be done to mitigate this risk when antidepressants are prescribed. In 2004, the FDA, or Food and Drug Administration, added a warning to all antidepressants, stating that they may cause suicidal thoughts and behaviors in patients younger than 25. This was based on the result of two separate analyses about all of the antidepressant trials in the FDA database. These analyses indicated an association between antidepressants and suicidal thoughts or behaviors in about 4% of younger patients on antidepressants compared to about 2% of patients who were on a placebo or sugar pill. The vast majority of this increase in suicidality involved an increase in thoughts, not behaviors. However, younger patients are far more likely to respond to an antidepressant than experience any increase in suicidal thoughts or behaviors. And this has been backed up by large population-based studies, which have generally not found an increase in suicide rates in patients younger than 25 on antidepressants. I don't understand. Why would young people be more likely to have suicidal thoughts when taking an antidepressant? Although there are no proven explanations for this, there are several theories as to why antidepressants might be associated with an increase in suicidal thoughts or behaviors. A leading theory is that depression in younger people may represent a different illness than depression in an older patient. For example, we know that some younger patients with depression may go on to develop bipolar disorder, which is a combination of depressive symptoms and manic symptoms like increased energy despite sleeping less, as well as impulsive behavior. Patients with bipolar disorder tend to do worse on antidepressants. Another theory is that antidepressants can energize a person to act on suicidal thoughts that might have been there, but they previously didn't have the energy or motivation to act on them before they were on an antidepressant. Still another theory is that younger patients are more efficient at metabolizing antidepressants than adults. As a result, they may be less likely to respond to an antidepressant and the continued depression increases the risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviors. Final theory is that some antidepressants worsen sleep or increase restlessness, which may increase the risk. Having said this, it's important to keep in mind that untreated depression is the greatest risk factor that may lead to suicidal thoughts or behaviors and presents a far greater risk of suicide than being on any antidepressant. Is there any way to know if my daughter is at risk for experiencing an increase in suicidal thoughts if she takes an antidepressant? There are some predictive factors that we can look for. For example, a history of self-harm behavior such as self-cutting at the beginning of treatment. Another risk factor uh, may be suicidal thoughts that are there at the start of treatment. Also, high levels of family conflict and alcohol or drug abuse during treatment. Finally, not responding to the treatment for depression increases the risk of suicidal thoughts and behaviors. Although there is no single antidepressant that's more likely to be associated with increased suicidality, there is, however, an increased risk of self-harm with more aggressive dosing at the start of treatment. How can I protect my child from this possible increased risk? The doctor prescribing the medication should educate you and the younger patient about the risks and do a thorough evaluation to weigh the risks and benefits of an antidepressant compared to other treatment options. Most of the risk seems to occur in the first month of treatment or shortly after a dosage change. Developing new suicidal thoughts after months of treatment rarely happens. 
Therefore, it's important to observe younger patients closely in that first month after treatment is initiated. Checking in with their doctor regularly, either by phone visits or in person, is going to be important so that the doctor can monitor the situation. Make sure that the required dose is being taken as prescribed and monitor access to antidepressants as well as other medications to prevent the risk of an overdose. It's also important to secure any firearms whenever a family member is struggling with depression or suicidal thoughts. Ideally, that means removing the firearm from the house or securing it in a locked box that the younger patient doesn't have access to. What should I do if I suspect that the antidepressant is increasing my child's suicidal thoughts or self-destructive behaviors? Take any increase in suicidality seriously. The first step is to make sure that the younger patient is safe. This may mean closely monitoring them or having them urgently evaluated by the doctor. In the case of a significant increase in suicidal thoughts or self-harm behaviors, the younger patient should immediately be taken to an emergency room for a complete medical and psychiatric evaluation. The antidepressant may need to be discontinued, but should not be stopped unless advised by the prescribing clinician or qualified medical staff. Are there any alternatives to antidepressants for my child? Yes, psychotherapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT are at least as effective as medications in the treatment of pediatric depression. The combination of psychotherapy and medication may be even more effective than either one on their own. Although there may be a small risk of an increase in suicidal thoughts or behaviors in younger people under the age of 25 when treated with antidepressants, untreated depression is by far the greatest risk factor for suicide. As any potential risk is generally at the start of treatment or when the dosage is changed, make sure that the patient is being monitored closely during those initial stages. This video is intended as educational content and not intended to replace care by a professional. For treatment-related questions, please be sure to contact your local care team and or depression expert. If you are in crisis or having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 or contact the crisis text line by texting TALK, T-A-L-K, to 741-741. Mm -hmm.